there's a way to get out of Strepsistera, which is the trap of Devora on AMP. A lot of people just block and do nothing. And then, you know, you just get grabbed for free because if you press, they can hit you because you can't press. You have to block because of the three bugs are coming out. And then when you block, they grab you and then they can full combo you like this, right? I'm still blocking. Nothing's happening. I'm getting comboed. So how can you get out of this? Here's how you can. You don't block until the first bug comes out you, and you tap it. Like that. So let's look at some options here. So the concept is that you don't block the first thing, the first hit, and you tap to block the bugs. Because if she tries to keep grabbing you, Okay, so I have three options. They're all gonna hit at different times, right? Tap, tap, tap. Okay, I escaped that one. Playback two. Tap, tap, tap. I escaped that one. Playback one. There you go, I escaped that one. So you can escape all these grabs by tapping. Again, it has to be grabs or, or highs. It will cover highs as well because you can react to highs. Right, because you initially want to let go of block, not block at all, and then go for it. And if I can actually do it, can't see shit with all these bugs everywhere. Tap, tap, tap. I'm still fine, even though she grabs me. She grabs when I'm not blocking, or she grabs when I am in block stun. Now I fucked up. So this is something that you might want to try. And let's say we replace all these. Let's see she mixes it up. With this one here. Then you can react. Let's go with another one. We'll wait until the second butt comes out. One, two. One, two. I'm blocking. And I'll wait for the third one. There you go. That covers that. The challenge for you now is if she does her mid. Now that's really challenging. There you go, that's fine. I tap, I tap, and ooh, I got opened up. Let's try it again. Yeah, so it's possible, which is very difficult. So guys, this is just an option. You have to practice it. Again, you start by, you don't block and you react to the bugs and you tap. You don't hold block, you never want to hold block against these things unless you're obviously like assuming a mid is coming or something like that. Because when you hold block you can get grabbed and it's terrible for you. But that's just an option. I know it's not ideal, <laughs> it's not easy and Devoro is at a significant advantage because you can mess up. But regardless guys, if you mess up, let's say the first one hits you, the second and third one can be blocked after. It doesn't combo if Devora steps in and pushes you back. I, th I think that's why it doesn't want to combo. Like that, right? So if you can't do the technique that I showed you, the tapping, let the first one hit you and then block the rest. But now obviously, the problem is that if she combos you, you you're getting comboed, right? So this is all on read. So the option of getting hit by the first one and blocking the other two is more so against grabs. Another option is to just let the first bug hit you if you read that a grab is coming. Because they can't grab you and hit stun, right? So you block you so you let go of the first one and then it's not gonna combo you for some reason. I don't know why, but like if it's very curious because usually Strepsistera is gonna combo you, right? So let's look here. I'm blocking. It combos me, but if Devora goes in for a grab for some weird reason... If I let the first one touch me, she goes for a grab, I can block the other two. Now it doesn't combo, I think it's because of the spacing. Again, these are like reads of grabs, right? You, you can get fully comboed for not blocking the first one, like this. Right, I don't block the first one, assuming the grab's coming, then I'm, I'm getting comboed. Anyways, guys, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, peace.